Time of arrival, 3.40. Sarah Johnson and Daniel Bruce are two of more than 80 Carter Center observers Center in Tunis 2. At Tunisia's presidential elections. We're looking at how closely are polling staff adhering to procedures when they ink people's fingers. How closely do they adhere to procedures when they're giving voters instruction. We're also looking for things like what is the environment like? Are things calm? Is there disorder? Is there prohibited campaigning in the area? And that's all data that we can capture within these checklists. These checklists are standard election forms observers use on their mission to provide an independent, impartial assessment of the country's election process. Within the past couple of years, the Carter Center has moved from using paper checklists to using electronic tablets and smartphones to collect data in the polling stations. The system's been dubbed ELMO for election monitoring. It's pretty simple to use. It's an intuitive device. The touchscreen interface and uh, the ability to swipe through questions. You choose with your finger which option you want. For each polling station, observers electronically submit the completed election forms to the center's in-country election mission headquarters. Hi, this is Anaga in the call center. As the picture of the election process unfolds in real time, analysts stay in contact with observers and clarify information. The atmosphere in the polling stations that you've visited. But they no longer have to input data piece by piece. Gone are the days of being handed a piece of paper and having to organize that stack of paper and, and work through that data all through the night. Which translates into a quicker, more efficient way to determine if the election was peaceful, well organized, and transparent. The Carter Center believes sharing ELMO with other observation organizations is a good thing for the international election community. So the technology is open source. Meaning, anyone can download the software onto a server and begin using it on their own. Significant disorder, loudspeakers, other or none. The center hopes this simple yet powerful tool will continue to evolve and improve the quality of election monitoring around the world.